Hello everyone. Today we're here at Quapaw Coffee with the one and only Alberto. And we're roasting some coffee today. Uh, today I got some Legacy Farms Honduras variety, the Limperia. Shade grown at 1400 meters, processed red honey. You can get that at legacyfarms.com. Uh, honey is the way it's processed. Honey process. Which is like laid out in the sun. It's in the sun, but also the whole sherry. Uh huh. It's dry. Let's drop it. Oh! oh. I don't know what this looks like. It, this is the good stuff. I'm very excited for this coffee. Are we gonna make espresso or oh, hell coffee? Yeah. 435. Here it comes. 438. You can still look a little light. Okay. Oh, drop time. Okay, so Alberto just kind of talked me through how to make espresso because I think Alberto makes the best espresso that I've ever had. In fact, he made an espresso for me one time and we, uh, we drank it and he's like, oh, that was not so good. Literally, it was the best espresso I've ever had. And then he did some rebalancing and, and some voodoo magic and we had another espresso and he's like, that one's much better. And it was, it was, it was unbelievable. Espresso on the... Uh, $10,000 espresso machine from the Legacy Coffee. I quickly took some notes and I'm hoping to do it one more time just to show you guys what we went through and um, how he makes his witchcraft espresso. We're gonna go 19 grams. All right, so let's tear it out. Can't be more beans. Uh -oh. Take that. I know this looks like a grinder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dual purpose. Spin. That flattens it out, balances it out. Yes, sir. Nice and. Smart lens. So, right here, I don't know if you can see it, we're going for. 40 grams. Yeah, that's more like really dark chocolate. All right, check it out. All right, here we go. That was a lot hotter than I expected. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That one's got some like floral notes at the end. At the end, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can play with that quick, flavors. So like yeah, if you want a floral finish. You, now you know to do you it. have to go a shorter extraction if you want a more rich dark chocolate and like caramel uh -huh. it will be a longer extraction with a little bit more ground more there. coffee yeah yeah, yeah. Um, but you always stick with that one to two ratio yeah yeah now, I always use that one unless it's like for these type of roasts if it's a lighter roast yeah um, like earlier with the Ethiopia, mm -hmm. it the ratio is like one to one point nine five, something like oh, this. Geez. So I grind nineteen or nineteen point five, and I extract like thirty six, thirty five. It's crazy how little a change you need yeah. to change so much. I'll tell you what, good espresso, good espresso is just as good or better than Adderall. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> 